What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 15 online gameplay. And today, we have a wager match going for Brent Grimes. And he was going for a little over 100K, I believe. So, uh, when I just added Steven Smith to the lineup, people were like, um, well, not, <laughs> not people, but um, the opponent that I'm going with, he's like, you know, we should do a wager match. So, you can go ahead and test out that Smith. See how he does. See what type of work he can put in. I'm like, all right, who you got in mind? He's like, 92 Grimes. I'm like, all right, cool, let's do it. So, uh, of course, I would like to see what he does, but unfortunately, me being the uh, forgetful person that I am, I had him as my number two lineup. Well, excuse me. I had him in my number two wide receiver slot because that's where he belongs because I'm, I'm doing the whole overall thing. So he belongs in, you know, the number two spot. You know, 99 Rice, then 97 Steve Smith, and then 96 Calvin. But the problem is when I do my formation, which is, you know, under, um, not under center, but uh, shotgun tight, basically Snug's formation. Um, look at the beautiful blocking right there. Uh, Steve Smith should be my number three receiver. That way he can run that small um, kind of dragging, you know, uh, crossing route. That way I can utilize him with those quick short routes and be able to get him in space. And I just forgot to, you know, put him there. And I, and I have every single game. You know, so Calvin Johnson is running that small route where that should be a route that's perfect for Steve Smith. But like I said, I just didn't change it or anything like that. And I have to. Fourth down, he goes for it. I could have swore I went like right through my player's back. I have no idea. We get stuck on alignment, but we do make the adjustment. He's running a similar offense to mine. Um, you know, so uh, I believe he does have uh, John Elway, which is one of the few times I've actually gone up against him. So right there, we get ourselves a defensive stop, which is definitely, definitely huge. So right now, we have an opportunity to go up two possessions. Uh, right here, just a really quick angle route to uh, Jerry Rice. He breaks the tackle, and we get an extra 15, 20 yards right there, which is beautiful. So right here, uh, that route right there is what I'm talking about. That, sh that I was going to say small. That short, small, drag kind of, you know, um, crossing route is, like I said, it's perfect for someone like Steve Smith because he is somebody you want to get in space. He is somebody you want to give the ball to with that 98 speed and 97 elusiveness. Uh, that's where he's going to be able to, that, uh, as he does so right there, he's going to be able to utilize his best attributes, which is his speed and his elusiveness. And if you guys remember, I, for the longest, I said the best receiver in the game was 93 Wes Walker because his elusiveness was 97. It means every time I threw a juke move, either they were just flat out missing or they would try to tackle him and they would just bounce off because his elusiveness is so high. So a small drag route, I would take an extra 40 yards. And at the time, nobody else in the game was be, being able to provide that for me. Right? We just try to go uh, deep up top to Calvin. You know, a couple seconds left. Why not? Um, and Steve Smith has that same attributes. You know, the same um, the same high elusiveness, but with way more speed. Right here, I'm just hoping for anything. Hoping I can wrap around and hopefully my blockers could get there. But, yeah, they, they took the playoff once the pass was thrown. But... We are up 10-0, but he does have boss. So, uh, one touchdown, he is able to go on ahead and get right back in his game. This video should have been posted a lot earlier. But I've been playing Halo 2. I can't lie. Hey, yeah. I can't lie. I'm out here playing Halo 2 like a madman. I can't, I can't stop, y'all. I cannot stop playing this game. I need help. At one point, I was really addicted to MLB, the show. Like, really, really addicted to the point where I could not stop playing it. Uh, I was just playing it every single opportunity big app, that I had. I could not stop playing that game. And that's how I am with Halo 2. Every free second I get, I'm scratching my neck looking to play Halo 2. I, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't like being in this position. I need help. I need y'all to send me some rehab. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know. I can't stop playing Halo 2, man. It's uh, okay. You know, let me stop talking about Halo 2. I can't. I can't even stop talking about it. But uh, that's why the videos have just been re just so slow and bad. And I wanted to do like four videos today. But Halo 2. Halo 2. Tomorrow I'm doing a 24-hour stream. Uh, I may not have videos tomorrow, but I'm going to try my best to wake up, prepare videos, and then do my 24-hour stream. So uh, hopefully that is how it goes. You know, hopefully that's the plan. Um, because I would love to be able to, you know, make sure my videos are done for the day. I definitely got it. It's been like probably like a week since I've done something on my main channel. Views are going down. Income is going down. I'm, I'm not making any views. I'm not making like any money 
I'm playing Halo 2 and I can't stop it. I I, I can't stop it. They were like, yo, Jess, why are you uploading that mop but not on your main channel? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I said, hmm, hmm, give me an answer. Hmm. <laughs> it's because I have so much muck content already on my computer, whereas on my main channel, I, I don't have anything, you know, and I need to gather content. That's why the 24-hour stream is going to be very important. A lot of ranked matches, a lot of 2K um, ranked matches, a lot of 2K uh, career mode, you know, things that are going to be dedicated to my main channel. That way, when I'm done, I have, you know, a good 10 to 12 hours worth of material, and I'm going to be good for a little bit, you know, so hopefully that's what happens. Um... Uh, Hopefully, I don't find myself playing too much Halo 2 during the 24-hour stream. Because if it was up to me, I could legit play Halo 2, like, the entire 24-hour stream. I could. Like, the look at that snag by Lambert. Um, like, the feels are coming back. I've been talking about Halo way too long. That lets you know how addicted I am. Like, I'm, I'm envisioning Halo every time I close my eyes. When, I fall, when I'm asleep, I'm in, like, a capture-the-flag type of mode. I need to get out of it. I need to get out of it. I can't even get rid of the game because it's digital. I mean, I would have to delete it, but I don't. I don't know. I gotta do something. I'm addicted to Halo. It's gonna ruin my YouTube career. It's gonna ruin the four years I put into YouTube because I'm just playing Halo 2 and I can't stop myself. But I will. Trust me. Okay, I won't. But I'll find enough time to be able to do everything. One hand snag right over the top right there. So uh, right here he goes really quick though towards the right side. This Elway is a perfect combination of everything you need. Uh, throw power. I mean, if you make bad reads like that, it's not gonna help you out. <laughs> but throw power, whoop! He has an, an amazing, amazing accuracy and throw power. And he has just enough speed not to be deadly, like let's say a 90 Steve Young speed, or 90 Russell Wilson speed, or 93 RG3 speed, whatever speed he has. But it's just enough to, you need to keep honest, you know, because if you don't, he's going to take off and he's going to, you know, create some damage, you know. Um, amazing card. I, I wish I had an opportunity to play with him, but since I'm doing overall, I never had a chance to play with him. But that's the end of the video, guys. We end up winning our card. And uh, that was Steve Smith's debut. It's your boy, Jess. See you guys tomorrow.